Welcome to our lecture online. Perhaps the biggest mystery of all is how did life actually start on the earth? We know there's life, you know, at one point in time there was no life. The conditions on the earth were not suitable for any sort of life. Temperatures were simply too hot, the surface was molten, so no life was possible, but yet the earth is now covered with a myriad of different species and different animals and plants, and you name it. So, how did it start? Well, there really is only two possible ways in which it could have started. Either it started on its own, from a condition on the earth where there's no life and then somehow life formed, or life came here from outside the earth. The reason why this theory of life came about is because this one is so troublesome. And why is it so troublesome? Well, we have no way of explaining how life can start from non-life. Now, lots of experiments have been done, and probably one of the most famous ones was the Miller-Urey experiment, where they spent about a week cooking up a mixture of water, methane, ammonia, and hydrogen, and they kept on heating and sparking it. And after about a week of doing this continuously, they produced a series of amino acids. There were at least five identified and potentially five more that were in that mixture. So there's no question that in the right chemical composition and with the right conditions, amino acids can form. And amino acids are indeed the building blocks of protein, which then of course are in the building blocks of plant life as well. And so from that, you can then imagine that life could then come about somehow from these amino acids. But comparing a mixture of amino acids to potential leading to life, well, that's the big gap that we cannot, we just simply can't cross it. We have no way of, no way of showing how that might have happened, and we have no way of reproducing it. We have not yet reproduced it, not even come close to reproducing it in a laboratory. What we have done is we have taken existing life, maybe emptied out the inside and then put other items in there, but again, these are manipulations of existing life to produce a different life form that may not exist, or potential life form that may not exist. But it's not starting from scratch. It's not starting from amino acids, throwing them together, and boom, here you have life. We have no way of showing how that might have happened, and we have no way of reproducing in the laboratory. It is such a hard problem to come about trying to show that how that might have happened is that they say, well, maybe there's another way in which life started on the earth. Maybe it came from somewhere else and it landed on the earth on a meteor. Now, of course, there are some problems with that because it probably spent millions of years floating through space, coming from another solar system far, far away. And those conditions in space are just absolutely horrendous. Your temperatures are near absolute zero. Uh, all kinds of radiation, it just would not be a good place for life to be able to exist for that long on a trip like that. However, they said, well, maybe it was somewhere inside the asteroid, protected from all those conditions, and maybe it, it survived somehow, the structure of it survived the trip to the Earth. Then, of course, it needs to survive the entry into the atmosphere. Any object of any size that goes to the atmosphere will heat up to thousands of degrees because of the friction with the atmosphere. And then, of course, it lands on the Earth and it comes in with a very high speed. It lands on the Earth, there's a lot of energy created in there, and then so potentially it needs to also survive that impact on the Earth. And then somehow, once it's on the Earth, it needs to then be able to get out of where it's contained in and then start to reproduce itself, start making copies of itself, and start continuing the life that it had in some other location. Well, there's one more problem with that. It doesn't explain how it started in some other location in the first place. Knowing that Earth is such a perfect place, once it had oceans all over the Earth, it had water, it had all the right conditions for life to start, and so somehow it must have started, but again, the challenge is so great that maybe it started somewhere else, but then again, you have to explain how it might have started somewhere else. Were the conditions any better somewhere else? How did life start from non-living molecules? Well, that's the big question. And then you have to keep in mind that life itself is actually quite complicated. Even the simplest life forms, and one of the simplest life forms ever discovered, are what we call nanoarchaeum. 
those are the small organisms that live near the vents underneath, underneath the ocean, inside the ocean. And those were discovered around 2002, and they did a genome analysis of it, and they found that the DNA in those structures only contained about 490,000 base pairs. In other words, the DNA molecules had 490,000 pairs, and that was the simplest, or one of the simplest, smallest genomes ever discovered on the Earth. So you can imagine, when you start with amino acids, and somehow you produce a molecule that is able to reproduce itself and put that inside a living structure that then can provide nutrients and take in energy and all that, how that could have started without anything to begin with in the first place, except some raw molecules like this. And so again, that gap is just absolutely enormous, and we don't know how that, might have, how that happened. So that is probably one of the biggest mysteries. How did life actually start on the Earth? I'm not saying it didn't, it just, we have no way of knowing how it did. Anyway, this is a, probably a place where we will receive a lot, of, a lot of comments. I hope that there's some good ideas, maybe people know about things that I don't know about, some studies, some experiments uh, that have been done that might get us closer to the answer to this question, but as far as I know, it has not yet been answered. So. That's one of the amazing miracles of our existence. How did life actually start on the earth?